Hakuna Matata. It ain't no passing craze. It means no worries for the rest of your days. Good morning. So we're doing a little video this morning about showering, um, about how washing the horse. <laughs> yes, and we're using Mr. Monieco here because I went to get him in the field and he's all covered in dried sweat so we really need to shower because that's attracting the flies and believe it or not one of the neighbours or two of the neighbours mares are in season and suddenly we've got this 30, nearly 31 year old pony acting like a three year old stallion, you know, full of the joys of spring. <laughs> As you can see, he's very um, distressed about it all. So he's used to being showered, he loves being showered, so um, it's not a problem for him, but we'll maybe just take a look at a couple of things that are useful if, you, if your horse was not used to it in the beginning. When he was a young warthog. Very nice. Thank you. He found his aroma lacked a certain appeal. He could clear the savanna after every meal. I'm a sensitive soul, though I seem thick skinned. And it hurts that my friend. Here we're just letting the water run down the horse's legs by by gravity rather than having any pressure. So if you hold the hose upside down, then the water runs very nicely and just takes in the whole leg. So that you may want to do if your horse has got any tendon problems or heat or swelling or sometimes after a bit heavy exercise or on um, exercise on hard ground, it's really nice just to refresh the legs with some cold water. Hakuna Matata, what a wonderful phrase. Hakuna Matata, ain't no passing craze. Dry the horse off. Um, this is a really old sweat rug actually from when I was in Scotland because we never really use it here. You know, they, it's, it's so hot, they dry so quick, you don't need it. And this is a very old fashioned string vest style one, but we used to put that on. We used to put a layer of clean straw on the horse's back, put the sweat rug on top and then a wool blanket on top of that so they, the, the air could get in and they could dry off enough in cold weather. Um, but yeah, like I say here, that's not necessary. Just getting most of the excess water off with a sweat scraper. There's various different kinds. This one's comfy in the hand with a nice wooden handle, but actually these ones that are just a strip of plastic are much more effective. We're just gonna swing his tail around and get any excess water out. Do be a bit careful with this. Uh, they can get a bit spooked by it if they're not used to it. So just start very gently and make sure your horse doesn't mind. I'm just using an old towel here to just dry him off a little bit more before we put him in. And then I'm sure he's going to enjoy a rollover and uh, dry himself off a bit more. A bit dusty there, so Monieco I think just about finished rolling over again and again and again to dry himself off. Um, actually, we're very lucky here with the weather being so warm, you know. Uh, in Scotland, when we used to wash the horses, which we, you know, if you had a white horse and you were going to competition or a pony club inspections, 
Um, the trouble was always that they weren't too cold. You know, we used to leave buckets of water out in the yard to try and warm up the water. Unless you're at a really luxury yard, you've got a hot water shower. Yeah, so as always, the most important thing is to be aware of your horse's expression. Listen to your horse, you know, check out how he's feeling with stuff. Hi, Cody. Um, so through all of that, especially using that metal tool with scraping the mud off, when we're going around his top of his mane with the hose, anything we're doing to always be keeping one eye on the horse's expression and making sure it's okay with him, which is to make things agreeable for him and also to keep ourselves safe. You know, as um, uh, Tom Dorrance always says, get there before it happens. So if you're aware of your horse and keeping an eye on his expression, you'll see the warning signs before something happens. Because of course, showering down here under the legs all around, you can be putting yourself in quite a vulnerable um, place. But if you're aware of um, where your horse is at emotionally, then you can easily keep yourself safe. So I think that's about it on um, Muñeco's story for today. Let's see how he gets on with his girlfriends when he goes back out in the field. Hope we don't have a repeat performance tonight of neighing and sweating and getting upset, but let's see <laughs> how he goes. <laughs> Thanks for being with us. Yeah.